the Bandana Waddle D. Many have heard of him, but Kirby fans are probably the only ones who really get what he's all about. I think Bandana Waddle D is a perfect fit for Smash, but why? He doesn't seem any different from any other Waddle D on the surface. Let's analyze this blue clad spear carrier together so I can explain. Bandana Waddle Dee has only been around since Kirby Superstar, but Waddle Dees in general have been around since the very first Kirby games. Bandana Waddle Dee quickly rose to the position of a regular character in the series after a while of just being a side character. Bandana Waddle Dee physically is not much different from any other Waddle Dee. Besides the bandana, he has a darker red color, and his feet are a little more yellow than other Waddle Dees. He could be compared to Captain Toad in terms of another character that's sort of taken the original design of a side character and built upon it to make a new character. Though Bandana Waddle Dee did appear in Kirby Superstar, he didn't appear in any other games until the remake of Kirby Superstar, Superstar Ultra. Let's go into detail of each of his appearances now, so we can pinpoint exactly where Bandana D started to become a regular character in the series. So, like I said before, Bandana Waddle D appeared in Kirby Superstar first. He appears as the first enemy in Megaton Punch, and the easiest to defeat. In the game, he doesn't really have a role that's as great as any of the other characters, say Meta Knight and King DDD, as he later comes to have. Then, in the remake of Superstar, Superstar Ultra, Bandana Waddle Dee appears again in the Megaton Punch minigame, but he also has a role in the Revenge of the King subgame, as a character helping King DDD defeat Kirby and cheering from the sidelines for the King in the final battle. So far, nothing too extraordinary from Bandana Waddle Dee, still the same role as he had in Superstar, plus a little bit more. Just before his first appearance as a playable character, Bandana Waddle Dee appeared in Kirby Mass Attack. He appears in the Strato Patrol EOS subgame, cheering for Meta Knight, which isn't really a step up from the role he had before. In fact, it's even less of one. Finally, in 2011, Bandana Waddle Dee had his first playable appearance in Kirby's Return to Dreamland on the Wii. He's one of the four main characters in the game. He made a big jump from a side character that didn't really do that much, although he did have some dialogue in Superstar Ultra, to a character that's completely playable, and compared to Meta Knight and King DDD in the same game, has the same role. All three of the extra multiplayer characters don't have any extra roles in the game besides being a playable character. So Bandana Waddle Dee has the same role as King DDD and Meta Knight in this game. That's huge! Now, you may be thinking, Oh, but New Super Mario Bros. did the same thing. It had two playable Toads in addition to Mario and Luigi. Bandana Waddle Dee is just filling in a spot. Well, there's proof against that as the Kirby series goes on. In his next appearance, Bandana Waddle Dee, in Kirby Triple Deluxe, gives Kirby helpful items occasionally from Street Pass and as you find him in the game. He has more of a role in this game than Meta Knight does, uh, considering Meta Knight doesn't appear at all, although King DDD has a much bigger role considering he's a boss and a main plot device in the game. But Bandana Waddle Dee still maintains his appearance here. If he was really just a spot filler in the last game, why would he reappear again in any role over Meta Knight, an established character in the series? In Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, he appears again as a playable character. In fact, there are three Bandana Waddle Dees you can play as in this game, and all three of them are more important than Meta Knight and DDD again. It seems like Bandana Waddle Dee now is starting to become established as Kirby's main number two, as his best friend, as his partner. Bandana Waddle Dee is really becoming distinct as a Kirby character. Then comes the next 3DS release, Kirby Planet Robobot where Bandana Waddle Dee has the same role as he had in Triple Deluxe, in addition to giving Meta Knight points in his new sub-game. King DDD doesn't really have many appearances in this game, only in the opening cutscene and as a clone of himself as a boss, so technically not him, 
I guess Bandana Wannabe has more of a role than King DDD, but less of a role because Meta Knight now has his own mode. Since Meta Knight and King DDD got their own sub games in the last two 3DS games, who could be next? After this happened, Bandana Waddle Dee was speculated to have a new mode in the next Kirby game, but will it come to fruition? Well, kind of, but we'll get to that soon. Next comes Bandana Waddle Dee's appearance in Team Kirby Clash Deluxe as a supporting character. He's in the hub area and gives you gem apples occasionally if you come speak with him every day. He has more of an importance than King DDD and Meta Knight here since neither of them appear in the game. Although, again, a form of King DDD appears in this game, but still not exactly him. Now comes one of the biggest points for Bandana Waddle Dee's inclusion in Smash because he has had, basically, his own game. Yes, that's right, Bandana Waddle Dee stars in Kirby Battle Royale in 2017. He is the main character along with Kirby, and Meta Knight doesn't have much of a role in this game, King DDD is the enemy of this game. Bandana Waddle Dee is the star of the show. Has King DDD ever had his own game? Has Meta Knight? Well, King DDD has had a spin-off in DDD's Drum Dash. Meta Knight has never had his own game. This is the first time a Kirby character has basically had his own game, and Bandana Waddle Dee has never been given any recognition for this. Kirby Battle Royale wasn't the most popular game, but Bandana Waddle Dee being the main character of the game is huge, considering that other Kirby characters have never really had a game as fleshed out and as big as this. This game has had its own standalone release, whereas DDD's Drum Dash was just a download on the eShop. Bandana Waddle Dee currently is the only character with his own game. Not only is he the deuterotagonist of the story mode, he has an important role in the story. He has full lines of dialogue, something that Kirby characters rarely get. And although he also had them in Kirby Superstar Ultra, this time his personality is developed as the story goes on and you're able to see more of Bandana Waddle Dee than we really ever had before. We've had glimpses into Meta Knight and King DDD's dialogue in Kirby Superstar, but this time we're able to look clearly into a Kirby character's full thoughts and emotions, rather than having to base them off of gameplay. This is the first time a Kirby character has really been as fleshed out as this. He's even more fleshed out than Kirby at this point. And finally, we get to his latest appearance in a Kirby game, Kirby Star Allies, where he appears as an ally, but one that is not as important as King DDD or Meta Knight. Although he's your only choice as a Dream Palace ally when you first start the game, King DDD and Meta Knight have boss battles in the game, which is a big step up from just being an ally. As an ally, he is the only character that can use the spear ability, so that's an extra addition that makes Bandana Waddle Dee really distinct in this game. He even got his own mode finally. Finally. Well, kind of. Every ally did in the guest star mode. In the guest star mode, Bandana Waddle Dee has his own theme music like Meta Knight and King DDD. It's a pretty nice touch that puts him on level with the other important Kirby characters in the series. At this point, Bandana Waddle Dee has gone from being a side character to a character that was playable just because they needed to fill an extra spot to a character that has developed a personality and one that has had full dialogue and a full game for him. He's really grown from what he had originally been to something more, to a character that's on a higher level than DDD or Meta Knight in some games, and has even had his own game despite DDD or Meta Knight never getting their own either. So Bandana Waddle Dee has a really great legacy, even though it's a very recent one. Some other things to note about Bandana Waddle Dee is that he's appeared on the title screen of the Kirby's Dream Collection along with Meta Knight, King DDD, and two other regular Waddle Dees. He also appears as a hat in the Street Pass Me Plaza along with the other three, Kirby, Meta Knight, and King DDD. And he appears with Kirby, Meta Knight, and King DDD on the official Club Nintendo Kirby badge. There was a rumor going around that the Waddle Dee amiibo was found to have code in Yoshi's Woolly World to allow multiple Waddle Dee amiibos to be used, like Daisy, but it's hard to say whether that's actually true. Nobody's really proven it false, but it's unverifiable. In addition to those things, a poll by Source Gaming shows that Bandana Waddle Dee is a very popular character in Japan at least, so that could be another reason for his chance in Smash. The Kirby series is one that really deserves another rep in Smash too. 
Look at Metroid. Metroid already has four representatives. That's more than Kirby. And Metroid has definitely been one of Nintendo's more neglected franchises. So it's strange that Metroid would have four representatives and Kirby, one of Nintendo's most modern, consistent, and popular, only has three representatives. So why can't there be another one? And as to why Bandana D specifically would be that choice for a fourth Kirby rep, I mean, look at all the other Kirby reps that could be chosen. It's most likely going to be Bandana Waddle D, the fourth member of Kirby's party ever since Kirby's return to Dreamland, and Kirby's secondary buddy most of the time, versus an enemy, say, Marx or Magalore as the choice who have only appeared in a couple Kirby games as opposed to Bandana Waddle Dee's remarkable appearance in every modern Kirby game. So I hope you see now why Bandana Waddle Dee is a little more than just an enemy with a weapon or a fancy outfit. Bandana Waddle Dee is certainly one of Kirby's most important characters, and I think he deserves a chance in Smash because of it. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please give it a like. If you didn't like it, dislike it so I know to improve, and leave a comment if you liked something specific or disliked something. And I hope you subscribe to keep up with my updates in the future. It's going to be tough with school, but hopefully I can do another video like this on a Rhythm Heaven representative, because I think that is a necessary video too. Hope to see you at the next thing I post. See ya!